Yeah, I think they're pretty excited. Well, I know they're excited. Um, just trying to build up. Obviously, it's a big game in the semi-final, so making sure that we get the bodies right and and, and uh, freshening up the mind. So um, it's been pretty low key. We haven't trained too hard. It's going to be a lot of emotion, and, and it's very easy to play a big game like this too early in the week. So we're just trying to build towards it, so we we get the timing right and make sure that when we run out that field, we're not overcooked or or too tired. We've had a pretty uh, pretty chilled out sort of week so far. Um, you know. Rose is talking about filling the tanks to the max, so you know the the, the load on us has been pretty light. But um, no, it's, a, it's a good feeling I think around the group and, and around camp. So uh, no, it's a really sort of I suppose a sense of, of excitement and, and willing to get sort of stuck in on the on Saturday. You know, it's pretty hard to change a team that performs so well. Um, so obviously James Blackwell was out with an injury, which is unfortunate for him. He would love to play a World Cup final. So Mitch Dunshay comes into the starting team and it's a great opportunity. He played really well in the, the semi-final and took his chance. I mean, we always talked about, even from the first game, even even back in um, Aussie playing Oceania, that, that we wanted to build for, for I suppose, this, this moment, this game. And, uh, and I think, you know, we've done that. It's been chopping and changing with positions and uh, combinations in the team and stuff. And, uh, you know, I think, Having that performance in the semi-final gives us a lot of confidence um, coming against England, yeah. The physicality's probably been, um, for some guys who haven't experienced it before, it's been a bit of an eye-opener. Um, there's a few of our guys that have played a little bit of Super Rugby, so probably a little bit more used to it. But um, you know, we had to step up, step up the physicality, and we did that in the D last week against um, France. So um, you know, we know what it, what it takes. We know what to expect from the English, and we'll be, you know, we'll be ex expecting to dish out our own as well. From the clips and, and images and, and, and stuff we've been over um, as the team, I think a yeah, big physical side. There's some uh, pretty sizable boys for, for 20 year olds running around there, but um, yeah, I think that's a challenge we look forward to as well. We, um, we won it last time we were in Italy and a few years ago, I think it was 2011, so it'd be nice to repeat the, the feat that those boys did when they were over here last. And um, you know, we, we've got, we know it's going to be very tough. We, you know, we have to play at our best. We're going to have to get things right. And, and you know, who knows? Maybe a, a, the old referee call, bounce the ball, is going to play its part. But we've got a good group of young leaders in our group, which helps. So, you know, there's there's little meetings going on all over the place just to make sure that we're calm and clear in what we need to do. And, and the rest of it's just about going out there and, and playing the game that we love since we've been five years old and and, and doing the job.